thank you everybody for coming. Uh, we have some exciting news that you have seen in your last, hopefully, Mary's handed off the press release to you. Um, we're very excited to uh, be signed today an agreement between Cineworld and CJ 40 Plex. Um, the executives you have here, uh, we have uh, Jung So, CEO of CJCGP. Uh, you have yes, this morning, uh, keynote presentation at the International uh, Day. It went very well. Um, Mookie uh, Ranger, CEO of Cineworld Group. Okay. Uh, Young Juan Choi, CEO of CJ 40 Plex. And Renata Tuckenberg, CCO of Cineworld Group. Um, I'm going to leave the floor to Brandon, or to, uh, to, to, to the team, and uh, you guys can take it away. We'll have questions afterwards. Uh, you can sign up. You can sign because we're very great, so. <laughs> There's nothing to so great, so. facility certified for all the major students in Hollywood. So we have one in Korea, South Korea, one in China, one in Los Angeles. And then that's a facility that they actually send their producing directors to come and sit in our chairs, see their movie entirely, mm -hmm. and then they give us a green light. So that's called the QC process. Okay. So we have a good place. Okay. You've seen a 4DX and a Regal already work together for a while. What factors led to such a large expansion, such a large order? What sort of uh, gave you the, the confidence to, to go ahead and increase the... I think that in order to, uh, to answer your question, we need to go six, week, six years back. You know, six years ago, we opened our first ODS in Europe, which was at that time the first ODS in Europe. And some of our competition, and some of the other people were saying, well, you know, what you are buying the unit. I can tell you guys it's not a game. This cinema, which is now six years old, is still doing performance in the level that it was doing in the first year. And since then, we have grown in Europe to over 40 DXs in nine countries with a good success. In the whole of the US, there is about 10 today or? Six today. Six today. In the whole of the US, we have only us 45 in Europe. We're not operating all over Europe. 
So for us, it was clear with the legal deal, part of the strategy is that we believe in technology, and we believe very much in projects. This is an amazing product in my eyes. So we said when we come there, we go. We didn't need to look at the legal results, although it's us now. Because we know what is 40X, we know what level of adventure and experience it uh, delivers, and we went, you know, we have strong relations with CJ for a long time already. So uh, uh, we went ahead with this, and we really want to go big on this, because part of the strength of the format is not to have six or eight or uh, ten. We need to have a lot. The movie talents embrace uh, for you. They like it. And this is the big strength of it, because there are so many all kinds of offers and ideas in this industry which are coming every year, every six months. You know. But you need to look at the sustainable format. 4DX is an amazing format for us. It's been a success, and we believe we are going to be the most successful in the world. So I do understand the experience that you build with 4DX, and it's typically for a high-packed film, like high action, and things of that nature. But as independent films are growing, and more audience members are starting to enjoy films with a, with a dramatic but not so action-packed theme, yet 4DX wants to take over, do you think that there is space for 4DX in that realm of a, a film, or is it only going to be with action-packed films in, in one way limiting you in that sense? Like how do you grow past that genre? So, uh, it's a good question. But uh, 4DX uh, is a kind of a joint venture uh, investment between uh, 4DX and uh, the TV production, which means uh, uh, we need to return the value as soon as possible from that uh, installation. For example, in uh, France, Father, they are very good at uh, a kind of a, a small film, art film. So they uh, normally ask us uh, to uh, format their small film into 4 ds But uh, in some cases, uh, we allow them to uh, yeah, do that. But major portion, uh, of, uh, we, we need to yeah, release the a big deal into uh, audience so that uh, we can can make some some additional money for the <coughs> particular partner for ourselves. So yeah, we we, we, we we can allow some portion in, in the negotiation with uh, the particular partner, but the major part we normally do with uh, yeah, big deal. But to, to, if I may add, you know, it should not be a misunderstanding. You know, this format is an extreme format, so it's yeah, for sure yeah, for the big action yeah, sure. movies. You know, a little bit to see a very low-key art movie, which could be amazing in a recliner or in a VIP environment. You know, to put it on a 4DX is like to read a book on a roller coaster. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, um, I think really it's made for this. But as they're saying, you know, here and there there can be some. One of the big 4DX successes for us were the movie of the uh, what was Life of Pi. Life of Pi. Life of Pi was considered to be an art movie worldwide, but it has the combination between the quality of the art and also the boat and the Chinese thing was amazing. You saw people that would never go to 4DX going to see uh, Life of Pi on 4DX. So it can really serve the whole media. <clears throat> so actually kind of following up on that, can, is there, a, well, for lack of a better word, a volume knob? So you could change the level of the extremeness in your particular chair? Uh, uh, this is a good question. So it is uh, um, um, the adjustable by the operator for the time. Yes, so there are one uh, option for the uh, on, and, on and off for the water uh, splash. But the motion itself could be adjusted by operator, not by users, to uh, secure the, uh, the some kind of safety okay. for the audience. Why yeah, but uh, in the future, the in the future, we are going to yeah consider that requirement. Okay. I think if I can add on that, I think coming back to your question, your question, we've been in the marketplace for over seven eight years, and then we do operate in fifty two countries, including nine countries with the Sinhala uh, Group as well. 
we have over 500 screens installed with 35,000, nearly 40,000 seats in the world. Given the timeline, given the movies that we've worked on and edited, so we do have learning curve already, you know, included in our asset. So our people know how to do that, how to handle the strength, the, you know, softness, what kind of film genre would be the best to fit for each market. But we do want to work with the Hollywood film. So everything on, on this one is to help your immersiveness of your movie watching experience. So we, we have the process in place and then we do have the principles. So we keep working with, but you know, there is more necessity from different markets, from different demographics, age band that we're expanding. There is more needs coming from you know, consumer ends who are looking into more possibility to open up the you know, door to be more flexible. So that's what we're working on right now. Thank you. 